Hi, a lot of you have asked me if Django is a good choice for a beginner. In this video I will talk a little bit about what I think and why. I will also quickly talk about where you can get started with Django. First of all, Django is a framework based on Python for building websites and web applications. Since Django is built on top of Python, I think this is ideal for a beginner. Python is the number one language I always recommend when it comes to beginning with programming. Python is easy to get started and is capable of incredible many things. If you know Python, you can build websites, desktop applications, games, AI, bots, and almost anything you can think about. Before you start learning Django, I suggest you to know the basics of Python. You don't have to be a Python expert to start with Django, but it's nice to know how to define a variable, what the string is, lists, if and else, loop, 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 loops, functions, and a little bit about classes. By knowing the basics of Python, everything you know about Python will be used in Django as well. For example, a Django page is something called a view. And this can be a class-based view or a function-based view. So if you know how to create a function using Python, you automatically know how to create a page or a view for Django. When you start learning a framework like Django, it's important that you have people to talk with and discuss and ask questions that you might have. If you want to get in touch with me or someone else from my community, feel free to join my Discord server for free. I will add a link in the description below. And in Code Stands Discord server, you will find channels where you can talk about Django and also other types of programming languages and problems you might have. And there are many people who want to help you. When it comes to where to get started by learning Django or anything else, I guess it can feel a little bit overwhelming because there is literally thousands of tutorials out there. The first thing I suggest that you do is to go to djangoproject.com, download and install it. And before you start browsing the Netflix tutorials, I would recommend that you do the official Pulse application or Pulse tutorials that is on djangoproject.com. It's very easy to follow and it demonstrates many of the key components that Django has in a good and clear way. After you're finished with the Pulse application, you should have a basic understanding of how Django works. And that's when the fun begins. I have a lot of tutorials on my YouTube channel you can start going through now. The one I would suggest that you do first is a little tutorial series I have on how to build a blog. This is very basic. I will add a link to this in the description also. And when you're done with that tutorial series, you should just start going through as many tutorials as you can. And I th the thing that I always recommend when you're going through tutorials is that you don't just copy and paste code, always write the code. So it's easier to remember and it's easier to understand because you don't just copy all of the code. And this will also make the code stick much better in your head and in your fingers. And don't worry if you can't remember all of the syntax right away. This will take a lot of time to remember. So use Google Stack Overflow tutorials, etc. to see how things are done. And don't be afraid to go back to see one more, one more time how it was solved. Before I continue, I just want to say thanks to my Patreons. If you too want to support me, you will find a link to my Patreon in the description below. When I go through tutorials, I also like to change the name of variables, function names and similar. And by doing this, it's a little bit easier to understand why things are done in a certain way, how they are connected. And if things crash now, it's probably just because I did a typo. So and it's easier to find an error also. When I made it through a couple of tutorials, it's time to start building a few things yourself. It doesn't have to be anything cool and definitely not something big. Start with building a small thing like a blog, a to-do list, a guest book and similar. In the beginning, it's almost better to think that the smaller the project you can build, the better it is. And just keep building small things and increase gradually. The more you can build, the better your understanding of Django will be. And the more you understand of Django, the bigger things you can build and the more things you can add to your projects. And that was it for this video. I hope you liked it and if you did, please click like below. That would be really awesome. And if you want notification when my next video is coming out, you need to subscribe to my channel and also remember to click the bell. See you in the next video.